All right, start streaming. We are going to look at this iPhone SE with a sudden death, no power VCC main short with absolutely no visible damage on the board. There is no clue why it is that this board doesn't have a uh, intact VCC main line. Everything looks beautiful. So I wanted to, um, this was a board that a student was working on earlier today and I found the short and so I wanted to kind of give him the satisfaction of knowing where it was and maybe help you guys. What do you do when you have no visible damage on the board and you know that you have a big short? So let's get into it. Let's start with a visual board exam and um, take a look at this. So I'll show you this. This is here for data and it's been trolling us for a while. So let's look at the board. We can see no evidence of water damage and you can see some of my thinking on this board. So let's look around. Maybe you guys can guess what I did or what my thought process was. But if we look around, even in excruciating detail, when you really drill down and you say, hey, those are VCC main caps. Is that one a little brown? Is that one a little brown? They're not. They're, they're absolutely uh, pristine and there is no sign of any kind of uh, visible water damage. Definitely not. And history is everything. I wish that I knew if the history was this happened after a small drop, after a big drop. It happened while we were in the car listening to, uh, you know, the, the uh, speaker plugged in. I wish I knew if it happened overnight on the nightstand, but I don't know any of that. It just came in for data and we don't know what's going on. All right, so let's see. Let's find a good VCC main spot. Um, maybe this cap here on the top of the board and in diode mode I'm going to stick my red probe on ground and let's see what the current VCC main reading is. Right now it is 0 0.001 so that is a full short on VCC main which means that if I connect it to DC power supply it's going to suck a whole lot of uh, current straight into the ground. Now, the trouble with these kinds of, um, of, of problems is that if you have two methods to detect a short, one is mapping visible damage. So look for the, look for the damage, what's damaged, and kind of vote the ugliest guy off the island. And number two is if everything looks beautiful, then you can try to use heat and detect heat. There is no other really intelligent way. Uh, there's no, on iPhone boards in our experience, using uh, multimeters that can detect very small changes in resistance and try to figure out where the short is. There's too much noise. We haven't, been, we haven't found that practically useful. So our two tools are look for the ugly guy or use heat. So let's see what happens um, when we use heat. So when I started this, I said, hey, looks like a great board for heat. And like many VCC main shorts, if you plug in at the battery connector, so you're gonna plug in our DC power at the battery connector, because there is a connection point of our little MOSFET that connects VCC main with battery VCC, and he lives here on the SE. I've taken him off, and I've taken off the cap next to him. So this spot is going to always get very hot. If you look on the schematic, could that be the reason why I have a short to ground? And the answer is no, because this guy has no path to ground. So it can't possibly be him. And we've covered this in earlier videos, why it is that this MOSFET always heats up with a VCC main short, but he can't possibly be the cause because he can't turn into an inappropriate wire to ground. So one of my strategies to avoid just getting trolled by him heating up is to solder a wire way up at the top end of the board. So that's what I did first. I soldered a wire up here at the top end of the board and I used free spray and I found that the board consumed an extraordinary amount of current. So it would hit my uh, current limit of two amps and the voltage would drop down to less than one. And in that situation, there's no resistance. And if there's no resistance, then there's no heat generation. So heat is in watts. And if we don't have any watts, we're not gonna have any heat, even though we've got a big ass short. So that didn't work. Nothing would heat up on VCC main. I don't know why. So then that kind of pointed us towards thinking that it would be more likely to be a chip than a cap. Because if it's a cap, it'll probably have some resistance in that cap 
and not um, and not kind of show this. Hey, I'm a straight up wire to ground. So we were thinking that it would be electrical damage to a chip because how I, I love thinking about how could a phone come to be like this? An unopened phone with no water damage. How could it? How could it ever get a VCC main short to begin with? So I started to think about um, sort of a logical hypothesis based approach. I could just start at the top of the board and take off every possible candidate, every cap, every chip that has a connection to VCC main looking for who's the wire to ground, but that would be really laborious and there'd be a lot of stuff to put back. So here's what I was thinking. I was thinking number one, audio IC. I've seen some 6S's in the 6S Plus that will get a sudden onset VCC main short that's at the audio IC. Usually they get hot at the audio IC and take off the audio IC and you can see a big burn mark in those guys. So there's something up with the connection to some kind of an external speaker that just turns into a surge and it will, it will damage your VCC main rail under the audio IC. So my first thought was maybe it's audio IC because that's the mechanism for failure. So what I did was take off audio IC and it still has a VCC main short. So that ain't it. Next, I started thinking, well, what else could it be? What else could it, how could a phone come to be like this? And so I thought about other sources of damage to chips or caps that are um, not water damage. And I thought about electrical damage. So could a gas station charger surge cause a VCC main short? Your first thought might be, well, how about TriStar? Well, let's look at the schematic at TriStar. There is no connection to VCC main. TriStar is not on VCC main. So we can't blame TriStar for a VCC main short. You would not want to change TriStar if you're troubleshooting a VCC main short. What else? Well, sometimes when TriStar is damaged, Tigris is also damaged. So maybe this has a TriStar fault that's masked by damage to, to uh, Tigris, causing a giant VCC main short. So I went after Tigris next. Now in the SE, going after Tigris is a real pain because it's in a tough, tough spot. Let's see where it is. So here we have the NAND chip where the data is. We don't want to get too much heat on that. Unlike a bunch of these prior repair attempt boards we've been seeing all day, really driving me crazy. Um, so here are our buddies. It is TriStar and next to him was Tigris. Now these guys are tough to get off because there is underfill that surrounds all of Tigris. You can still see some pieces of it here and under the TriStar chip itself. In fact, this TriStar probably needs to be replaced just because I had to put heat here in order to get off Tigris. It is a challenge to get Tigris off and even TriStar without pulling any pads on the SE. And I'll show you an example really quickly of the, another board that a student was working on today. This one came in as prior repair attempt. And I think that uh, Kevin learned a lot from this board as we looked over and kind of tried to think about the thought process of whoever had worked on or raped this board previously. And so on this one, if we look at the TriStar Tigris area, somebody had been working in this area and oh man, look what they did. Look what they did to poor Tigris. Oh, look at poor Tigris. He's missing three pads and these two on the end are going to definitely be required. One of them is part of Tigris's ability to talk to the battery and say, hey, what's up battery? Are we good to charge? and the other one talks to the CPU. So they gotta be there and Tigris is required for boot. So we need to have a working Tigris just to be able to troubleshoot this phone. So this is a pretty big, massive repair. Here's the point. You don't wanna take off Tigris. You don't wanna take off TriStar unless you have a good reason. All right, so back to my phone. I learned that I did not have a short on any of the kind of intelligent, thoughtful places that I could think of, of how would a phone come to have a VCC main short in the absence of any kind of liquid damage and there's no real history of a strong drop and nothing's getting hot. What are you going to do? Just start at the top of the board and denude the whole thing? I don't know. So what I did was I took off the MOSFET to break the connection between uh, battery and VCC main. 
and I soldered my wire back on and I took off Audio IC, I took off Tigris, and then just because I've seen it once or twice, I've seen water damage under Chestnut, which has a, has a VCC main ball under it. I took off Chestnut just in case. I've seen this a few times where a board can look beautiful, but there's water under Chestnut. And I didn't really think that was a very strong candidate because usually Chestnut does declare heat if Chestnut in fact has a VCC main short. But I'm running out of ideas, so I took off Chestnut, and that's where I left off here. Audio IC, Chestnut, and Tigris. Those were my really only three kind of thoughtful candidates uh, given the history of this device. So once those chips were gone, then I checked back on my wire to see what whether or not we have um, a little bit more resistance in the line uh, at the short so that we can actually um, get it to show itself with heat. And so it turned out that it did creep up a little bit and that's where we are now. So let's go ahead and put freeze spray back on this board. And oh, somebody, one of the students is sending an Uber guy to pick up his folder. Yeah, I think, are you here to pick up paper for Paul? Yeah, Paul. Okay, can you help that, Mark? What he that left, mark? let me check, he left his red folder and, and maybe his certificate, I'm not sure. So like his notes and, and stuff like so that, he said he was. Okay, that's what it is. He can keep that, no, we, we went over that, he can take his test. All right, and give, give him like a little Mark kissy face or something, obviously. Did you say no? <laughs> All right. Okay. Yes, right there. Well, okay. Uber driver's going to take a piss. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so now let's, 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 uh, see what happens now if we put some freeze spray on this board so that you guys don't have to get trolled on your next SE that has absolutely no clue on the board about where it's possibly short. <laughs> okay, so um, let me move this chat down here. All right, so what I've done is I've soldered a wire and I chose a spot on VCC main that can accommodate a big wire like this one. I like using a big wire if I can because this wire is not itself gonna get as hot as, as, a, as quickly as a tiny wire, so I'm not gonna get trolled by my wire if the wire is big. But a big, big wire doesn't stick on the board very well, so I found a spot here where there are two caps that are on VCC main and I stuck the wire on uh, both of them together. All right, so now let's check and see if I get my alligator clamps out. And I'm hoping that, that Peter Campbell, who was working on this board, who is currently flying back to Scotland as we speak, will uh, sign up for that go-go in flight and at least get to figure out what happened to this board. All right, so we're going to um, connect my alligator clamp number one and oh my god I got trolled by these clamps that we all did in the in the course the other day the, I had to take off the little plastic coating on them because this red wire had the black plastic on it and that made us hook up hook up things the wrong way a few times and we're like what is that how is that even possible all right so now when I touch ground so if I touch ground I look over and DC power supply says it is consuming 2.43 amps at one volt. So that should be enough to, um, to, to get this thing to declare heat. What does my shirt say? We got new iPad rehab shirts. My shirt says, do you even solder, bro? Which is pretty much how I feel after this long line of boards that I ended up having to quote as, you're gonna need to pay a non-refundable uh, restoration fee for us to restore the board to the point that we can diagnose it for data recovery or we can send it back no fix right now because we can't we can't keep um, just sucking it up when all of these boards get here with massive 
inexcusable damage on people's data due to just gross inexperience and arrogance. So not cool. So if you sent us a board that you tore up like that one that never needed a tigress, then you're probably going to get that message. All right, let's freeze this sucker down. Now, there's not very much VCC main. In fact, other than those caps and the little uh, camera chip, I don't think there's anything on this top side of the board. So we'll flip this board over and let's see if we can find where VCC main is short. So let's get some frozen tundra going. All right, it's turning winter. Snowy winter in Rochester. There we go. So everything is all snowy and I'm going to just touch ground and let's see what heats up. Let's see what heats up. So I've got my short declared. The board is consuming current. Any minute, somebody is going to stand up and say, it's me. All right, it's me. Fine. There he is. Got you, motherfucker. Is it you? It's me. Fine. I give up. Now, this really drives me crazy because I told you guys that my thinking was audio IC, and that was the very first spot that I went. In fact, the VCC main ball that I've seen go bad before is this one right here. The fucker was right next to it. Grr! I wish I had just accidentally knocked him off when I was taking off audio IC. Now let's see him again. All right, time for some more frozen tundra. Frozen tundra. Everybody likes to see spring come to the valley. All right, let's clamp to ground. And let's really see now, does that guy really melt before his neighborhood? Who is causing the short on VCC Maine? Who is, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? It takes a while, look at that. This thing, 2.43 amps, zero, zero point nine volts. There he is. It's me. It's me. I admit it. Fine. I can't deny it. It's me. It's him and nobody else. Frozen everywhere else. And there he is raising his hand. All right. Now let's see if we're right and that that is the reason why we have a short on VCC main. If it's not, then I'm probably going to lose my shit, which will be a... A nice fun thing to watch, I'm sure. Everybody likes to watch somebody freak out on a Friday. Um, last night I thought I was gonna die, so I'm just happy to be alive. I have started having, I had like two weeks ago this like very weird, like 19 hour excruciating pain, probably gallbladder attack, which, you know, sucked. And of course I immediately didn't go to the doctor because I had to teach. I got to teach practical board repair school and I'd hate to, I'd hate to risk my life getting a uh, tetanus because I didn't go get a tetanus shot when I stepped on the filthy pig shit, goat shit, uh, donkey shit ridden old ass 1970s paneling nail. I didn't do anything about that. I didn't bother to go cancel class to get a tetanus shot. I was willing to get tetanus for the sake of my students. So I certainly was not gonna like blow off the course just to go fucking get a gallbladder surgery. Mark refused to do it, I don't understand. He's, sometimes Mark has like confidence problems. I think he's totally up for a little laparoscopic gallbladder surgery. We got plenty of tools, you know, cautery. I don't see what the big deal is. He said no, he just wants me to be in pain. Um, so, but, but the kind, good-hearted Mark Schaefer was willing last night when I was in total pain, still had to teach today, and I was wigging out, and I said, can't you do something that would be distracting like you and Christy could stream while I'm not there? I'm not sure that was a great idea now. <laughs> um, so we're going to do a stream again after this one to kind of tie a bow around his, uh, 
his EMMC uh, reading project, which of course both those chips read just fine this morning, uh, and he was just trolled by his computer. Okay, so let's uh, let's see. Let's ask this guy. Hey, bro, are you a wire? Are you a cap? Like a man, or are you a wire? Like the low down piece of shit you are. What are you? Come on, answer me. He's a fucking wire. I knew it. You asshole. Get off my desk. That's it. Hey, Mark, you want to uh, eat a cap? It's not really a cap, it's more like a wire. No? No, I'm good. Okay. Do you want me to feed this cap? Do you want me to mix it? Will it make you feel better if I mix it in the cat food for the cat, my uh, my new shop cat that <laughs> that Mark? I'm not sure that Mark and the shop cat are really going to be good friends. Oh, you mean little son of a bitch? Yeah, little son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. So while we check to see whether or not we still have a VCC main short, I'll tell you the story of little son of a bitch. So today I was on the way to school, dropping off my kid. <coughs> We're going to check diode mode right here. Show me not short to ground. Da -da. The beautiful sound of quiet. Diode mode reading is 0.370. Is that normal <coughs> for an SE, 0.37? Hope uh, so. If I remember correctly, SE is, is similar to a 6. Mm, okay, uh, so there we go. Our VCC main short is gone. So let's do a little bit of rebuild and see if we can get this board to boot. And then that will be the end of this stream. So there you go. Look for that audio IC. So that theory, I love it. It was working. It was a great theory. It was undoubtedly, hey, I plugged my device into some big ass speaker and then it quit working. And you know, that history would have been so awesome. Um, but we didn't get that history. So um, we had to find it ourselves. And that first step of removing audio IC was so close to the answer, but ultimately we had to find it the, the long way around. Um, so there you go. So now in order to get this board to boot, we're gonna have to put back on at least a Tigris. So let's get busy with that. And you can check out my brand new awesome tweezers that we're gonna be selling at iPad Rehab Supply. I really like these. I really like these super thin and super strong. So let me uh, pick a little bit of, uh, well, some solder balls. Let's pick that little bit of underfill that's left there while I tell you about my uh, adventures with this uh, cat. So I left for school, or I left to drop my kid off at school and come over here to teach. And about a mile and a half away from my house, I heard like cat crying sound like meow 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 which is like you know i thought it was the radio so then i was like sam stop with your like ringtone or whatever the hell that cat thing is and he's like i totally hear a cat mom and i don't even have a phone okay and so i i was like huh so i stopped the truck got out turned everything off radio off phones off got out, silence, on the side of the road, and I heard, meow, meow. And I thought, there is a cat. And then I thought, well, all right, this is probably my cat, Roscoe, or Bony Bones, has jumped into the back of the truck. So we got out, went around to the back, looked in the truck bed, no cat, walked around and around. I didn't see any kind of cat on the side of the road or anywhere, I had no idea. And so then, I could still hear this cat crying, so it sounded like it was coming from the front of the truck. This is low heat, 200 degrees, to just make it so that we have a flat dance floor so that my new tigress can dance his way to his perfect alignment on his own without getting hemmed up by any kind of speed bumps here. So I opened up the hood of the truck opened up the hood and there's a fucking cat sitting on the engine block meow, meow, meow. what there's few things more surprising than opening up the hood of your truck on the side of the road and there's some cat you've never seen before just sitting there what up dude so i you know he kind of stood up to to like jump jump out and i i caught him and it was 
this cute little kind of really young kitten and I you know I thought hey you're pretty pretty cute I don't know what to do with you because if you belong to somebody I've now driven you like a mile and a half away from where you know so I can't just dump you in the woods so I had no choice I I brought him to to iPad rehab and we had a we had a, a shop cat for a day All right this is a cap so I'm gonna and he's loose so I'm gonna get rid of him and then I want to just make sure this is okay there's a little piece of underfill and then his little border all right we don't need to worry about that okay time for a new tigress and I will check in on chat here so our plan is to get a tigress on here see if it will boot and if not then we'll have to change Ty uh, TriStar his next door neighbor on the basis of having to put heat there in order to get that off that's pretty hard to do without also bothering TriStar, his neighbor. All right, so I'm gonna grab a tigress and stick this on here. So this cat was walking around the shop all day. He was really cute. He was like sitting in people's laps. I went, I walked down to the convenience store and I got some little can of cat food and then I you know, made one of these little magnet trays be a little cute little water dish. And he, you know, he was a little smelly, I guess, little, a little wheezy <laughs> kind of kind of sounded like he um, might not a might not have lasted there out on his own and I we didn't have a litter box so I did what anybody would do I I went for the first time in 10 years and I paid money for a newspaper like the stuff that you used to get uh, with paper and like letters on it a newspaper paid money for a newspaper and throw it down in the back and then I thought I would kind of teach him hey this is where your food is or this is where I want you to to piss by putting like the little cap of his of his fancy feast over there so he I don't know that's the only thing I could come up with I don't know if that was a terrible idea but in the end it turns out that he had other ideas of where it would be a good place for him to piss in the shop. And where was it, Mark? Uh, it was, <coughs> it was, it was here. It was on Mark's What's laptop. What's that smell like? It's fine, I don't think anybody's <laughs> uh, yeah. gonna notice. Uh -huh. I'll sleep with it under my pillow tonight, and if I can handle that, then you can sit. He, Mark is extremely concerned, which I don't understand this concern. Here's, here's what I don't understand. <laughs> Mark is extremely concerned about, oh God, when I have to fly home tomorrow, what if the person next to me thinks that guy is a cat piss smeller? No, no, it's, it's not, I'm not concerned what they'll think about me. I'm concerned with, I would not want to have to sit next to and smell cat piss. All right, here's another idea. All right. Like that, that's just me being courteous. I don't okay. give a shit what they think about me. Okay. Well, why does, just a question. Why doesn't that also apply every day around, I don't know, six o'clock when we, we all work here about, <laughs> about eight feet from your asshole, which is shitting out large brick-sized turds? Because this isn't a plane. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand that. There's, I don't quite follow that. There's no escape on a plane. You can go outside there's no the escape. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. There's no escape. I see. I see. I get it. All right, makes perfect sense. Here's what you need to do, Mark. Are you ready? Yeah. I know that you. I know. I heard your idea. Your first idea <laughs> is that you would you would not be that guy that has a cat piss filled laptop, and that instead you were going to shit your pants so that you would be the cover guy. Up the smell. You would cover up the smell. Yeah. That's a I, yeah. that's a good plan. <laughs> So if you're really worried about other people being kind of just inconvenienced by your cat piss reeking laptop, which by the way, I don't think really smells that bad. I think it's aired out. Um, I've done the best I can you've done. with alcohol. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Oh, there's gin back there, that might work. What about better. baking soda? Do we have baking soda? I thought so, for some kind of project or something. I don't know. Let's see what chat thinks about your cat piss story. Here's what I think you should do. Sit down.
befriend the person next to you and say, oh, this feels great, man. A year ago, I weighed 457 pounds. And they'll think, wow, I'm sure glad I'm sitting next to you now and not a year ago. You're, <laughs> how'd you do it? Where'd all the skin go? <laughs> oh, I just got, I'm flying home for my uh, skin surgery. Sorry if I have uh, uh, weeping wounds all over my body. They'll never notice the cat piss thing. All right, let's get this uh, tigers to behave. So who's got a, a good name if we end up keeping Piss Cat? <laughs> All right, I gotta find a way to get some heat on old Tigris here. He looks a little dry on the side. That is a tough angle. Go where you want to go, bro. Be who you want to be, Tigress. Go where you want to go. As long as it's on this board in the Tigress position, then we're cool. It is taking longer than I'd like it to be. I'm having a tough time getting getting the angle that I want on him without bothering the NAND. That's a little bit of action. There we go. Would sure not want to have to blow directly at the nant. There he goes. Go where you want to go. Be who you want to be. All right, perfect. Well, maybe you guys didn't see a goddamn bit of that. Okay. Uh, oxy powder and lemon works for cat pee in a USB port. Let's see. Um, use the nail salon UV to test if you got all the pee cleaned up. That is a uh, fantastic claim. He said he can use his nose to tell that he definitely didn't. I will tell you, Mark. Guess what I bought on Amazon? Not that I have dog, any dog urine finder. Dog urine finder, yeah. which is Doesn't another word. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does. <laughs> and, uh, and, and we can see. Enough of the cat piss talk, please. No. When people say things like that, don't, I mean, come on, common sense. Ha didn't you go to elementary school? When you say things like, please don't talk about cat pee, guess what's going to happen? Hey, Christine, you got any good cat pee stories? Uh, I have a cat diarrhea story. Ooh, a cat diarrhea story. That sounds even better. Come and tell. <laughs> Do tell. What do you mean you're not? Just tell it to Mark and then he'll tell it to me and then I'll tell it to the world. <laughs> just pass it down. Well, just use fake names. You don't even have to come and show your face. Just like. What was his, what was his name before and after the sorority house cat had diarrhea all over your bed? Mm -hmm. Is that when you started hating cats? No, I like cats. You do? Yeah. Well, I know a really cute one. Hmm. All right. Uh, my sister has a dog diarrhea story. It's very similar. She went to spend the night at, as a little kid, like third grade, at you know somebody's sleepover, and you know she climbed into her little Crayola. Uh, sleeping bag and the and so right now guys I am going to have to instead of putting back the MOSFET which is long gone I'm just gonna solder a wire to connect battery and VCC main which is basically doing the job of this MOSFET for it since it is long gone 
So she, you know, went to sleep, woke up, and she felt like this warm stuff kind of like, like by her face, like on her hair. And it, that, that kid's dog had come and shit on her sleeping bag while she was in it at the, uh, at the sleepover. Memorable one. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get this little dude on here. Ah. Call her LSD. Anyone use Dumont tweezers? I did up until about an hour ago when I got these, and now I don't anymore. Actually, I'm pissed off at Dumont. Fuck Dumont. Here, Mark, come show him the piece of shit tweezers. So I went to the, you know, I, I've been using the Dumont Style 5 tweezers, and I, I like the strong ones, but they are magnetic, so that's a real pain. I also like the green ones, which I use all the time, but they are very, very weak and instantly get, you know, malformed, which is kind of not cool. So I, I want something that's strong and not magnetic. That's all I ask. So I went to their website, reading about all their different types of tweezers, and I... Yes, these ones. How much do these cost? 70 or 68, something around 70 bucks. $70 tweezers. Worth it, because they are called, are these the ones that are titanium? Or yeah, Dumostar? The titanium, that, uh, it's titanium it's website says these are the strongest tweezers ever made. 10,000 times stronger than kryptonite. Something like that. It's the impression I got. Anyway, I open them up. And I, you know what I did first with them? I took a piece of foam off of an iPhone 6S. Boing! <laughs> they are all, uh, let's see how yeah, they look this, now. Look at these under the microscope. These are $70 tweezers. Those are definitely not designed for this kind of work. Yeah, they're not designed for this kind of work. You know, this is some, this is some BS. I mean, you, if you said just the, you know, the, like any kind of foam, I was lifting up a piece of foam, and they went. So if you needed to like, <coughs> like weave hairs together. Weaving hairs, yes, that's what they must. <laughs> but you can't like pull them out, so they can't even be useful to the eyebrow ladies. All right, let's see what else needs to be done before we can test. And, oh yeah, chestnut. God damn it, I got to stick a chestnut on here. I forgot about chestnut, or else we're not going to have any kind of image. And I'm ready to get this one in the done pile because this, this stream is supposed to be super short since we are going to do a back-to-back -back, uh, redemption stream for Mark so that Mark can show everybody, um, hey, look, I can read those chips. All he had to do, this is the big magic. Ready? I'll tell you. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Take the reader out of his computer, put it in my computer. Done. Worked. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Poor workman blames his own laptop. The funny thing yeah. would be if you had somehow made that be like, you know, Jessa, if the cat had peed on it yesterday mm -hmm. so that this whole story, like this whole timeline would be like, yeah, I did that stream and it didn't read probably because <laughs> the cat pissed on it. Or you could have just pretended to find the cat pee. Too bad I didn't find the cat yesterday. I found him today. So that's, mm -hmm. you know, really not going to work out. Yeah, if only we could blame the cat for not being able to read his chips last night. Yes. Let's just do it anyway. <laughs> Fuck this. Yeah, little bastard. Let's name him EMMC Killer. Mark's like, why are, you, why are you trying to name that cat? You need to be getting that cat gone. Yeah, I mean, I, I hope Jeff followed through and he's in the lake right now. <laughs> he's in the lake. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> Uh, let's see, there's, what are we talking about? What? No, DuMont are the best. No, they're not. In fact, I'm going to take my DuMont $70 tweezers, and I'm going to fucking throw them in the trash can right now. Fuck. Done. No more DuMont. Fuck those guys. Fuck their $70 piece of shit tweezers. These, the new iPad Rehab recommended blue 0 0.15 millimeter tip tweezers. These are my new faves. I cleared all that underfill with these tweezers, and look, look, they're still totally pointy and sharp. Isn't that great? All right. 
Uh, let's figure out how to get a new uh, chestnut on here so that we can be done. Done time, coming up, let's see. All right, so chestnuts. Chestnut, chestnut, where art thou? So guess what, Mark? Did you hear Sam's big news? I did not. What's Sam's big Sam's news? Sam's big news. He got the lead in the school play. Oh, yeah. So he hadn't he didn't have a part yet when he was going the other day? When I no, it was there. all yeah, it was auditions. Mm. Yeah, good job getting him there on time, you know, since he's the star. Yeah, that was that was you know, I'll take some credit there. Yeah, he's really <laughs> funny though, because he um he keeps, you know, this is the 101 Dalmatians. What's the name of the dog, the, the boy dog in 101 Dalmatians? I, I have no idea. I don't, I don't think I've ever watched that movie. Okay, I'll give you, I'll make it multiple choice. Is it Pongo or is it Pon, Pongo? Uh, Pongo. It's P-O-N-G-O. How do you pronounce that? Pongo? Yeah, Pongo. But he thinks it's like Ponjo because his teacher's name is, is uh, Ponja. Very similar spelling, so he's gonna like. Is his teacher a white suburban mom? Yes, of course. Look around. A white suburban mom named Panja. That's her last name, but yes. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. I'm sure her name is Kathy. You know, come on. <laughs> you know, Emily, Rebecca, something like that. Okay. So her name's not Panja; it's Miss Panja. Right. Of course. Yes. Yes. Of course, Miss Mrs. Poncha. All right, let's see if I can get that on there without fucking anything else up. Here, Mark, why don't you make yourself useful and read the chat? I've read none of it. Ooh, um, this message is held for review. Uh, yeah, fuck that. Hide forever. What the heck? <laughs> Delete. Uh, so I will stick with Chinese titanium. Yes. Chinese titanium is better than... Swiss, Swiss Titanium, the makers of Dumont. Who can suck my American dick? Chestnut uh, for SE is the same as 5S or the 6S or a genuine one? No, it's the same as the copy chestnuts. <laughs> <laughs> Just use high copy chestnut, you'll be fine. Uh, read, comma, Mark. Yeah, I, I just did. You're welcome. How do I sign up, sign up for class? Uh, you go to the website and, what, keep, keep hitting refresh for days and days until there's an open spot? I think there's Are some spot or? where we have, uh, November is full. December has a couple sign-ups, so there's space in December. We're doing one course in December instead of two, and then there's, I it's think... A Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> We're going to have a Christmas good time. Are All you right. reading, Mark? Uh, yes. Yeah, go to iPadRehab.com. Figure it out. Use your brain on how to sign up for the course. Hint, it's under Practical Board Repair School. Click that tab. Read all about it. Here, why don't you read some evaluations while you're standing there since these guys just left. Oh, That's a great to, idea. To no, you got to re read those and see if anybody thought that Mark was better than Jessa. Let's find out. Oh, let's see. Let's, let's see. see. All right. This one uh, is blank, so he thought we both equally were awesome or sucked. <laughs> <laughs> does, it have, does it have stuff on the front? Yeah, it does. Oh, so okay, great. A, All right. Got a great. I got a grade as well. Come over here. We can't see. Oh. Um, here we go, Mark. Well, we'll just... What? Just, no, I'm read it. Read it. You're okay. obligated to read it. You got an underlined awesome in all capital letters. I got a very helpful. That's <laughs> <laughs> was it somebody that you... Were, was it somebody from my side of the room? Uh, these are anonymous. Oh, anonymous. But obviously it was. Obviously it was. Okay, fine. Obviously. Obviously. Um, these are the only ones I can find. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see what happens if we try to uh, turn this thing on. All right. Man, it's been a long week. All right. 
So you're starting to get iPhone 6 Plus units with underfilled Mason chips now. Think it's Apple's attempt at preventing M1 failure rather than fixing it using the wire fix. I want to know all about underfilled Mason chips. And I want to know if it actually, I'm super interested. I mean, I really don't think now that we, now that we put so much thought into touch to these, I don't think it's going to make any difference. Do you? I think the it's the pool twist that pulls on M1. I don't yeah, think yeah. that I don't I, think I that think underfill was was that yeah. was an early idea, and I think it was a giant fail. Underfill is addressing the the idea that it was ball that it to was crack joint. Yes, and I don't think that's what it is anymore. It probably is in the six. If you're seeing them in the six, that's probably super helpful, really. Yeah. But the six plus, I don't think it's going to help. So yes, I want to know if you guys are seeing um, any underfilled mason chips on six plus or six and you know what they're what they're in for etc david uh forgax says he got his <coughs> quick station today in the mail thanks excellent well hopefully you can put it to some good use all right let's see i think i i think i fucked up my tigress how's your uh data thing going on over there oh it's it's good to go is it great yeah yeah so i grew back my vcc main short fantastic i should have checked for that after tigris and before chestnut i think i'll take off chestnut oh for so mark you gotta like come entertain the stream so i can get this uh get this done without trying to tell too many cat stories uh, i think my chestnut uh, is fucked up or my tigris yeah. do a little song and dance but um bump you're just gonna stand there? Yeah, you can wash me from the neck down. Uh, okay, all right, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Dance, funny man. Dance, funny man. I Dance. So. Dave Pedu says he's fine with cat stories. Keep it coming. All right, you know any other cat stories? Um, uh, I know that, that I got a message from my wife this week. Um, she is gonna be taking an anatomy class as part of her major. Um, and you know all the all the people she's taking her classes with this semester are pretty much going to be in every class she takes for the rest of her major. Mm -hmm. um, so you know she's making friends with people and um, getting social and stuff. And uh, they all found out this week that in their anatomy class next semester they're going to have to dissect a cat. And the rest of the girls are like, oh my god, I can't do that. I'm, I'm going to have to change my major. And she's like, that's awesome. I can't wait to slice him open. Wow. And so now, like, she's, she's the weird one who wants to cut up cats. How many of those other chicks have had kids? Uh, none. Yeah, yeah, so there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. There, there's such a, a, you know, that's the... the unanticipated actual life changes after pregnancy is yeah well i mean know. she was worried when she decided to go that you know start taking classes that she was going to be like the the weird old person who's at the college around all these young people and i was like no it's not going to be like that at all you're you're just going to be annoyed by all these annoying 20 somethings yes and that's exactly where she's at now she's like i hate all of these they're so stupid they don't know anything they don't know anything about <laughs> life they have no skills all right yeah. i think i'm gonna need a new tigress and i don't know where any are can you find me a tigress uh, oh i can find you tigress great you go on a tigress hunt uh yeah you want the one that uh, came off of Wolf Ford today <laughs> <laughs> no i do not i do not want want you that want one at all no i'm gonna gonna pass all right, let's uh, edit this up. Chestnut? What? Can I substitute a chestnut? No. Yeah. Maybe like two chestnuts? Uh, maybe three. I think two is good. All right, we got you some tigers. Some tiger eye? Yeah. Some tigers, this is. Excellent. Sweet. Hook me up. We do have a book at the house called. I could pee on this. I'm gonna leave it. In, I'm gonna leave it by your bed in case you want to read something at night. It's really funny. It's about little cat musings. 
But he was so cute, Mark. I mean, come on, you have to give him that. He's like super cute. Um, I mean, he's, he's cute as far as cats go. Yes. Well, I mean, he's not like a I, hot I chick. Took, I mean, I is took that his what picture you're... today to try and get some Reddit points. You did? Yeah. What is it on Reddit right now? Yeah, it's posted. What's it the... called? It's called this cat pissed on my laptop, or was <laughs> no, it no, this predate that? I found out about that. Okay. Posted it to our cat list. What? There's a whole subreddit of pictures of cats when they got their little feet tucked under them. Of cat loaf. Cat loaf? Yeah. Oh, loaf. I thought you said cat cat lift. Okay, gotcha. Who's your tigers? All right. That that's like I'm gonna get trolled by that tiger. So I just know. It. <laughs> Man, I the SE tigers is a bitch. I'll tell you that. Dip it in cat pits. <laughs> I definitely didn't. Why is it all green? <laughs> Why does it look like the inside of your laptop? It really, uh, I mean, I. I think you should post. Reason. You should post on Reddit the the what your USB jack looked like under. Uh, yeah, I should you know, have taken a picture. I've rice can't it. fix cat piss. No, it, even this cat after, needs to eat more rice. Even after dealing with <laughs> so much liquid damage and seeing it so many times, it still kind of amazes me. Just within hours, the the big thick pins in a USB port are have, gone. Alright, how about this? How do you know that Roscoe didn't piss on that same laptop or underdog three days ago? Because I've been Are using... you sure that it's cat piss? I mean, could it... Is there <laughs> any chance that this could be underdog piss? No. And no, that not. that's why the EMMC didn't, didn't work? Because underdog pissed in it? Nope. Are you sure? I'm it's sure. such a great story. No, I know <sighs> underdog piss smell. <laughs> <laughs> I have it on speed dial. Uh, okay. Yeah, I could, I could definitely do like a blind smell test and tell you whether that was underdog or, or bear shithead. dog. Wait, your dog? Oh, wait, yeah. who's shithead? Well, shithead is my dog. So the cat we're going to call son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. Okay, let's see. I'll be really feel like an idiot if my VCC main short is now like someplace stupid. Oh God, it is someplace stupid. <laughs> oh fuck me! Oh man! Or it grew back. All right, did I f do fuckery around here? It's under Tigris. Hmm. Tigris is gone, yo. I just took him off. It's under where Tigris. Oh, it's would under be. where Tigris is, like on the other side of the board. Sim tray. It's under there. That's no, where my short is. It's inside the board no <laughs> no it's not oh no it's not i don't think so anyway all right i'm gonna have to I'm gonna have, i think i'm just gonna edit the title of this to um will be solved tomorrow instead of solved right now let's just clean this up a little bit oh troll 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 this whole week has been like this hasn't yeah. it i mean my yeah. god some weeks are just like that Alrighty. It'd be funny if it was like a separate battery short. There was, there didn't used to be. I know I checked. All right. Do we have? So now let's see. What's what's off? I've got. I've taken off my chestnut. And I have taken off my tigress. And. I already have off audio, I see, and I already ha have that cap off, and we did already verify that that short was gone when I did all that. Well, let's see. I'll be pissed if it's some kind of internal board short. That's why it was hard to detect to begin with, and then it <laughs> blew this cap. Yay! What the fuck was it? I have no idea now. <laughs> Short's gone. <laughs> 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 this VCC made short itself. How? <laughs> Done. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what What was that? There's no ground over here. Did I, like, abrade a pad over here? That's a possibility. Did I abrade a pad just through sheer idiocy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at that. It's fucking tucked into the ground. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Anyway, I'm going to guess that. Okay, all right, Mark, song and dance time so that I can throw these chips back on here because this shit needs to get fucking done. 
Let's see, have you replaced the bad cap? No, it's just taken Replace? Off. Fuck uh, that! Oh my god, no. Maybe that was a little strong of a response. What mic are you using? <laughs> a cheap, shitty one? The Samsung Meteor mic. I have the, the, it's a $10 one. I do have a beautiful $700 one that Lewis made me get. Except Lewis made me get one from another country on eBay. And so it doesn't have the right adapter. And then he told me what adapter to get and I got that and it was wrong. And then <laughs> he, does, he doesn't like that whole situation. So then he like washed his hands of me. For, for my microphone problem <laughs> and it's just sitting in a drawer and I'm really wishing that I had just bought the one on Amazon which I found was that my plan audio visual equipment for YouTube streaming is just a rabbit hole of electronics that you are going to try and then nope that's not what I need yes let's do it again let's do it again speaking of doing things again let's put on this uh, Tigris put on Very this on. Tigris yeah, <laughs> somebody asked oh, in the other stream, why don't you just put the balls in the reader? Mash the chip right down on the... <laughs> yeah, why don't, I, why don't I read ball the reader? Yeah, just, well, just drop balls in there in the little cup holders. Oh, yeah. And then you just kind of, you know, hold, hold the chip on there. And then, you know, like maybe if you were watching a movie or something, don't, don't fuck it up. Like, so get a good movie, get your popcorn and everything, like, in advance. So that you don't have to like lift your finger off of that for how long does it take these things to read? Uh, it depends on how big they are. It can take an hour. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a good good movie. <clears throat> but I, I have thought about like taking seeing if I could take it apart and like replace the pins in it with ones that are longer. Yeah. Um, but the. But then I decided, you know, it'd be really fun scratching my balls. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be really fun to just drink this six pack of beer and watch the game. When was the last time you watched the game? Uh, I think back when uh, LSU was. Wait, so the answer is not never? Football. Yeah, there was there's a period of time where we I used to watch the game. Watch some college football. Really? Yeah. So, do you know, like? Do you know, like, what a running back is? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not, no. I know that you're supposed to move that ball a couple of feet. I think it's yards. I'm pretty sure it's yards. Well, yeah, one. One of those, which is a couple of feet, every, like, 15 minutes or so, which in football time, 15 minutes is actually, like, half an hour. Yeah. Um, do you know any cheers? <laughs> no. I bet Christine does. I bet you oh, I $10 that Christine knows. knows some cheers. I'm not taking that bet. Come on, Christine. Christine, can <laughs> you <laughs> renovate one of the, I'm sure, many football cheers that you know to an iPad rehab cheer? Huh? What? Christine is never going to come in to work. This is what she does every time. She'll come in and be like, you know, like see see if yeah, see if I'm streaming and if, and if I'm not, in. she's like, oh thank God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought that was, I would rather be Christine than the the Uber guy who's like, I gotta take a piss. Oh well, <laughs> okay, well, right. don't 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 uh don't let us stand in the way. Well, what would her neighbors think if they saw? What, what kind of stuff goes on here? What? The neighbors, like our upstairs neighbors? They're no, cool. Like Christine's. You're identifying them. Huh? Oh. <laughs> yes, I see. All right, Christine, do you just know a regular football cheer that's not an iPad rehab cheer? Yeah. <gasps> I knew it. Okay. Yeah. You, here's your challenge, Mark. What? Get Christine... To tell us the football cheer she knows. I'm not taking that challenge. God damn it! <laughs> God! All right, I gotta look up where this dot is. I'm gonna fuck this up again if I'm the one that has to make Christine do a football cheer. <sighs> Here's your challenge. Okay. Make this phone boot. <laughs> <laughs> and end the stream. All right, I'll do it. I'm gonna take that challenge. 
I'm gonna do it. It's, I'm not gonna fuck anything else up through through chatting and what have you. I can't right. see the chat anymore. Okay, well let's get the chat back for Mark. Here we go. Um, Mark, take your hands out from your pockets. <laughs> Mark, put your hands on your head. <laughs> I'm putting them back in. I'm keeping them in the pockets. Yeah, fuck you. All right, I gotta I, see. I already forgot the orientation of this chip. All right, dot goes by the giant cap that's probably missing. Okay, it goes to the little cap in the coil, and it is down here by the edge of the board. Okay, is that how I have it? Yes. Sweet. All right, finishing this up. Oh yeah, check now before you put it. Great idea. Oh my god, that would have been an, an, a terrible, horrible, awful troll. Uh, this uh, Tantawi, you're my newbie. You're my new best friend. Formerly it was Kevin because he remembered to turn my station off, but now it's you, baby. It's you all the way. Let's check to see did I grow back my stupid VCC main short with my uh, too chatty tigress job. Let's find out. Hey, no short. Woo! All right, now we're cleared for chestnut. All right, thank you for that reminder. I totally would have spaced out on that and then fucked chestnut and then had to go get another bunch of new chips, which would have sucked, but you saved me. All right, that looks plenty juicy under there. All right, let's get her done. Okay. Mark's got holes in his pocket. There's a ball joke in there somewhere. Maybe so. And I'd prefer some kind of a cat pee joke. It would be nice if YouTube made it easy to edit, you know, to edit streams kind of after the fact, you know, where you could just kind of like a lot of this content is fine if someone felt like editing it. Yeah, there's there's a lot of raw footage. There's a lot of raw footage. <laughs> yes, you have to be kind of committed. Um, yeah, like I would I would love to have the time to, to edit. I, maybe I should try to do some editing streams in our kind of easy November month coming up. That's a good idea. All right. Um, let's see if uh we have a vcc main short again or not yay no short all right board's cooling down and we still do need a connection over here that hopefully i'm not i'm gonna pay attention this time i'm gonna pay attention and not not mess this up. You right. want to connect all those pads together? And no, I don't. Them to the little ring, little, little gold ring. That's little like gold that. ring. That's how you do it. Yeah. That's what. Did you learn that at Wild PCS or? Um, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. you did. Yeah. All right. Let's see. It was really funny. I asked uh, Brian today, like, so, did uh, how do we do against uh, wireless repair school or whatever? And uh, he he was like, no, come on. <laughs> All right, so let's just do, let's leave all those alone. We'll do one little wire on the end. Bing. All right, where's my lifetime supply of braid pieces? Since I'm never going to braid. In your PMIC graveyard. I know. Oh, I can't wait to have, you know what we should do? Teach Christine to reball PMIC with a new 3D stencil. That's a great idea. Hey, Christine. All right. Do you want to do one of your cheers on stream or do you want to learn how to reball PMIC also on stream, but not right now, um, with our new easy to use 3D stencils? Because it would be great if we could make a stream that was like reballing PMIC with these new stencils available for my pad rehab supply is is so easy that even the <laughs> even Christine <laughs> that no, you really not can't. even Christine that even our intake person you should have Sam come in and do it yes okay that's a good idea yeah how about Andrew 
yeah, this is a great idea. I really feel like that one does that's that goes somewhere else. I have to check on it. It's like impossible to focus with the no sleep gallbladder attack and then an entire entire fifth day of course today. Yeah, it's retarded. I don't know what's wrong with me. There's something wrong with me. That's probably why I get stupid things like gallbladder attacks. All right, let's just make sure. Okay, yeah, see, that's the wrong MOSFET. <laughs> I was like, this really looks like the gate. Yeah. <laughs> that's the right, I'm on the right MOSFET, but when I was looking for where I planned my wire, oh. I was like, eh, that doesn't feel right. Something Because I'm reading the board, I'm like, that is not battery VCC. Something is up. What if I took off the wrong MOSFET? That would be... <laughs> That would be embarrassing. That would almost be as embarrassing. Oh wait, I did. This is not the right well, one. I don't oh. think that's even a MOSFET. Right? Huh? No, it's not. It's <laughs> something else. It was getting hot though. Is that what the short was all along? <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the chip that's gone. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that's the guy. Yeah, guy that's that's on, just yeah. fucking Mesa. Fuck him. He can sit there and be gone. Suck my dick. <laughs> I wonder why he got hot. I mean, he was definitely hot. Unless unless we were told. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna just delete this fuckery. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is like, Mark's like, thank God, man. I thought it was bad last night when I couldn't read that chip, but this is way worse. Just as fucking jumpering Mesa. Wow, that is a new level of <laughs> what the fuck. Here's what I'm gonna put this down to. Always read the board, and if it doesn't make sense, stop and think. Like right now, she's got to jump out at you. Like that doesn't seem right at all. All right, so let's uh, just leave that sucker off because fuck him. <laughs> this is so stupid. Like I created the short because <laughs> I spaghetti all of Mesa. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid! What a dumbass! God bless America! Come learn practical board repair. Watch me spaghetti. This, this is what happens this would be, after two weeks. This, this is, is what ha I know. This is like another like work drunk stream where like how much have you guys been drinking? We've been drinking twelve hour twelve hours of class a day, a couple of shots of gallbladder disease. Wow, I just spaghetti the mason <laughs> chip. I didn't even realize it. Hey, Christy, yeah? we can't figure something out. My board won't turn on. Do you think it's okay? See this chip here? Um, this is what it is on, uh, on ZXW. <laughs> um, here it is here. Okay. Um, it's, on, it's on the corner. <laughs> So this is it's got a some line. Ground. What else has it got in there? It's, it's got, got so this is a twelve volt line. Twelve volt line, all right. <laughs> <And then clears throat> this is an eleven point three volt line. That's ground. That's TriStar. Um, that's a thirteen volt line. Another ground. VCC main. <laughs> and Mesa to boost enable. What do you think would happen if we just took a wire and just connected all of these like a serpent, except for not C1? Yeah, I was going to like block off the one that went to ground and just take a blob of solder and just drop yeah, it. Yeah, like what if you did that? You think that the, I can't understand why I have a VCC main short. Um, it does make a lot more sense though, like now that like, why the heat method started working after I took off Mesa instead of the stupid LDL because that was, you know, contributing to the short. Mm -hmm. And so then I could find the cat. So that kind of worked out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, let's see. Let's see how bad we're getting trolled. Ooh, let's see. Let's see. Wow. Just is losing it. Yes, I am. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. <laughs> All right. Um, Special. Whoa. Especially Paul Daniels is telling me I have hepatitis or mono. I don't have any kind of hepatitis or mono. Stop infecting me with that. Let's check to see if we have a VCC major. Does it work on backpacks? Uh, it's good for fabric. 
Right. Oh, let me see. Is it cat pee remover? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Product placement. The, the cat pee. Not you know, available. Not available on iPad Rehab Supply. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if it works, if it works, if it works great. Yeah. This is what we should sell in, in lieu of rice. No, on your non MacBook. Yeah. On our, on his. On your low budget MacBook. <coughs> <laughs> budget friendly MacBook. Oh, lordy, lordy, this is 40. That's what I feel like Give right now. I don't think his MacBook smells like pee. Get over here and it sniff does. it on stream. It, it smells like pee. Hold it up to the camera. See if anybody on stream it thinks was, it smells it like piss. a couple of hours. And like the, you've seen inside the big, thick pee. Hey, point three, three, six makes a lot more sense than point three, stupid seven. God. Bless it, the retardation level. All right, let's see if this fucking phone works. All right, let me smell it. Where's the worst of it? Right here. Yeah, that smells like cat piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it only gets better once the laptop warms up. <laughs> yeah, why don't you put a little bit of like low heat, like stick it in, stick, just go sit it on one of those Chinese oh, I was talking mats. to Lewis about it and he's like, that will never go away. He I, he's saying that to you said, know he's trolling he, you. That's he all bullshit. Cat Don't listen to him. And he took it apart three years later, and you could still smell it. That's a troll. That's did he come spray on. Spray with Clorox <clears throat> brand urine remover for stains and odors. He did for, not. Of course he didn't, because that's not like all earthy vegan. He probably sprayed it with Lewis no, piss. Yeah. So like he, he like, probably had to mark his own territory and like over spray on it. Extract and vinegar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. I probably have some back out at home too. The enzyme based product that Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. Enzymes sound like sciencey. Yeah, let's get some enzymes up in here. Like some <laughs> lac lactase. Alright, where's the just, stupid S E you'll be all set. Do you have any yogurt in the back? I think that's one hundred percent. Natural? Yogurt? No, we need some chemicals. Guaranteed to work. You know what you should do? You yep, should it's full of chemicals. hook it up here to the Hako fume extractor, since you got to drag that out to put it in the bathroom anyway. <laughs> and then just kind of like let that thing suck the, the cat pee smell out all night long. That's going to work great. God, what, that might have been the dumbest thing I've done in a long time. Man, that's stupid, isn't it? Yeah, it was, it was pretty dumb. Yeah, it was pretty stupid. Pretty dumb. Yeah, Yay, Apple logo. All right, let's um, let's just stick this on a battery. That's totally gonna boot fine. All right, where is the SE bucket? Which I just had. I swear to. Yeah, I that's swear to it's clear. Come to Jess's Fixer Upper Board Repair School, where we teach you how to create VCZ main shorts. <laughs> and all kinds of shorts. Like, that was like at least five or six shorts. <laughs> all right, white, it's a clear bucket. I had it because I thought I'm going to need this for this quick and easy 20 minute stream that I said was only going to take 20 minutes. Has this been more than 20 minutes? I kind of feel like. Uh, yeah, I feel like it has. <sighs> God damn it. There's so much left to do to prep for. Leaving tomorrow. Uh, all right, let's get. Till two. Nope, no, we're not. <laughs> nope, that's a lie. That's a troll. Uh, okay. Here, okay, let's put on a dock, and let's put on a battery, and let's make a point about getting Paul it. Daniel said I should done put a cut onion next to it. Yes. <clears throat> Stick it in a bag of rice. Well, maybe in a bag of cat litter, so it can kind of like, you know, get the really get the smell off of it. Okay, and let's see if this thing can boot. Let's see if I can hold the battery on there. All right, come on. That's really hard to hold up. Oh lordy, lordy. It's not stupid, we get tired. Oh yes, we do. <laughs> and can't see anything. Yeah, we've been working a whole lot of like all the hours of the day. 
Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right, that battery is dead. Great. Let's go back to the DC goddamn power supply. I think the likelihood that this is going to need a TriStar is like 100%. I don't think no. you can put that much heat next to... I don't no, think you can put that much fine. heat. You think it's fine? It's fine. What percent chance is this fine? Uh, 100%. Wow. I think we should have like a... We'll have a bunch of like streams... And then we'll have the one. Then we'll have like a end of the week stream where we actually fix all the stuff we started to fix on stream. That's a great idea. Vitaly says, "Work hard, play hard." When when's when, the playing part? Yeah, when is the play? It's it's like work hard, sleep a couple hours. <laughs> Get back to it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, it's a work hard, sleep a couple of hours, work even harder. Work hard, let let hard. stuff. Let okay, stuff I can get behind is, that. Let stuff stack up. All right, so this is this is Apple logo boot loop. So that means that it needs to get an update, which is really not atypical. But before I can do that, I'm going to have to change TriStar in the case that the heat next to TriStar, which it doesn't look like it has any, any heat, but it certainly... Um, would you change TriStar? Not right now, but would you change TriStar before uh, updating it? Uh... We'll go with yeah. Would you? Yes. I would too, yeah. That would be silly not to. Alrighty. Yeah, so it just kind of, you know, has a pretty classic looking TriStar boot loop. Work hard, spend all money on mushy ding dings. <laughs> <laughs> How many days is repair school? Five days. Five long days. <laughs> like really long, exhausting days. It's boot camp. I mean, those guys are exhausted. Um, but man, you learn a fucking shit ton of information, that's for sure. I mean, they really do. Like, if you think back to day one, you know, like, it's, it's totally unrecognizable. Okay, so now we know. iPhone SE, sudden death, VCC main short. If you don't see anything wrong, then check on some, you know, check on audio IC and the audio IC cap. Ask for history and see if it was, it died after I was in a car charger, it died on a nightstand. That's going to point you towards different things like TriStar and Tigris. Then if it is, um, hey, I was playing some loud music at a, at a stadium, that was one of them. And that'll point to audio IC. And it's not just audio IC. Apparently it's audio IC caps as well. So um, there you go. And I'm going to fix this board and then we'll have to catch up with it on another stream. I've got, a, I've got kind of a big pile of uh, things that I need to, to circle back to. So, and, and Mark and I need to get some, some sleep. We're going to be back though because Mark has to do his redemption stream and apparently I'm going to have to do one too, just not right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this stream.